Okay, for the next one, we talk about the conflicts chapter. Okay, chapter A, managing conflict. After completing this chapter, you should be able to identify the four types of conflict. Explain how conflict can bring about positive results. Describe methods of preventing conflict. Describe the five phases of conflict. Identify ways to resolve conflicts. Respond appropriately to conflicts. Describe the six steps of problem conflicts. What is conflict? Conflict refers to the difference of opinion caused by a person's attitudes, behaviors, ideas, needs, wants, or goals. Conflict in the workplace is serious and has the potential to decrease productivity and undermine moral, humble performance, increase turnover rate, and absenteeism. Conflict in your personal life can lead to stress and loss of self-esteem, depression, and general unhappiness. Uh, definition of conflict, we can conclude that conflict is a process that begins when one party perceives that another party has negatively affected or is about the negatively effect, something that the first party cares about. The negative side of conflict. Conflict is destructive when the resolution ends with a winner and a loser. It keeps you away from doing your work or feeling good about yourself or others with something that you care. It undermines moral. The individuals involved act aggressively. It is harmful to an individual's emotion or physical well-being. It increases absenteeism and the turn of it. Types of conflict. The basic types of conflict are simple conflict, typically of effect or bit of information, seldom serious, usually easily resolved. For conflict, a perceived conflict that does not really exist could have likely been prevented. Ego conflict. Uh, probably uh, the more damaging to relationships in the workplace, relationship between friends, boss, and employee. Individuals will winning or losing as a measure of their expertise and personal work. Why you and beliefs conflicts? occurs when people feel differently about an aspect of life, and those differences are brought into focus on a particular issue. For example, welfare programs often cannot be resolved. Can conflict be prevented? This practice will help you prevent conflicts. Build constructive relationships. Discard problems before they escalate to a conflict. What you are languid when you are annoyed. Stop and think before you react. How a conflict result? Result properly conflict can bring positive result. It can lead to personal and a uh, professional growth. Effect change lead to new ways of thinking and behaving, motivate people to participate, support good decision-making, clarify important issues, build cooperation among people, face 
of conflict. The phase of conflict are spark, a trickling incident that brings the conflict to the surface. Could be a simple misunderstanding about your communication, about your action, about your surface, <coughs> fanning the frames. The conflict increases in intensity, taking size. Conflict begins with two individuals, but it doesn't take long for others to get involved. The fate of conflict are showdown, the most voluntary phase. Often is a confrontation that is destructive, could end with a standoff or statement. Resolution and adjustment. A decision is reached that is agreeable to all steps are taken to put into action the agree upon settlement. Conflict can be resolved only when both parties agree to cooperate, believe the problem has a solution, recognize that a difference of opinion is not a personal attack, respect the opinions of our involves, make an effort to be partners. Okay, guys, so we back to the conflict process again, and I want to uh, explain more detail about the conflict process. Okay. Uh, about the potential opposition or incompatibility. The first step in the progress of a conflict is the creation of a situation for conflict. Communication, the exchange of communication is a potential antecedent condition to conflict. The potential for conflict increases when either too little or too much communication takes place. Increasing the communication is functional and beneficial up to a point after which it is possible to over communicate. This will increase the potential for conflict. Next structure, the size of group or organization can stimulate conflict. The larger the organization is, the more conflict it has. Conflict will be more serious when employee turnover is high. And the next one, personal variables. Personal variable. Uh, another potential source of conflict is personal variables. The personalities of some people can lead to conflict. For example, of personal vari variables are their appearance and their emotion. Personal variables can cause conflict which can result in failed meeting or even failed relationship. Next. Cognition and personalization. If negative emotion happen and affect another party, then the potential of conflict move to this state. That means the members will have more anxiety, tension, and anger. When the conflict is emotional, it can impact other members and create a negative relationship between the members. And next step, that means intentions. Intention intervenes between people's perception, emotions, and their over behavior. Two dimensions of handling conflict are illustrated by cooperativeness and assertiveness. About cooperativeness is the degree that one party try to satisfy the another party is concerned. Acceptiveness is the degree that one party try to satisfy his or her own concern. If you try to cause two dimension of 
cooperative needs and executive needs. There are five types of dimensions of conflict handling intention. For the first one, avoiding. The next one, accommodating. Next, compromising, competing. And the last one, collaborating. Okay, for the first one, avoiding. This means low cooperativeness and low assertiveness. A person may recognize that a conflict exists and wants to withdraw from it or suppress it. Avoiding includes trying to ignore a conflict and avoiding other people that you with whom you are done like. Next, accommodating high cooperating need and low acceptiveness. People who try to gain approval from other members that they don't like because interested, they are keeping the relationship. Next, compromising. This means medium cooperative and medium acceptive. All parties try to compromise and show the characteristics Ca uh, ca char characteristic of compromising. Next, competing, low cooperativeness and high assertiveness. The members think about their own interests without any concern about the effect to other people. And the last one, collaborating. This means high cooperative cooperative but low assertiveness. The members try to find win-win solutions that around board parties goes to be achieved. And the next one, behavior. Behavior is when conflict can be observed in an organization. It is a process of interaction. And the last one, outcomes. Functional outcomes, low or moderate levels of conflict can improve group performance, organization performance. Conflict can increase the quality of a group discussion and creativity. Conflict can encourage interest in the organization and change organization trend. This functional outcome this functional conflict can reduce group performance due to poor communication and reduction in group cohesiveness, significant differences of opinion, lack of information sharing decreases.